This one-of-a-kind science center was founded to enrich children's lives with science. Founded by Robert and Libby Strong, it is the only one currently operating in the state of West Virginia. I want to be where there's real humanity. This is where it is. The real goal here is to have fun. It's to teach, it's to uh, educate, but uh, we have three themes going on here. Do you like dinosaurs, space, and or ice cream? Okay. Um, we've done as much as we possibly can to promote science in, in West Virginia, not just science education, but science in, in general. What, what we wanted to do was create a, a, a museum quality uh, atmosphere, but where things were for sale. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, if you wanted to buy that, we could sell it to you. And, you know, we could put that in the back seat of your car and off you'd go. Right. Um, but but there's, there's, there's stuff in here that we, we don't want you to come in thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to have deep pockets yeah. uh, to, 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 to be doing anything. We've got things for a dollar, we've got things for two dollars, we've got things for three dollars. We've got shark's teeth, for instance, 100 million year old shark's teeth. You can get a dozen for a dollar. Wow. We've got fossilized dinosaur poop, small pieces that we call pocket poop. You wow. can get four for a dollar. There's, there's no other place like that here in the state. And we, that's why we're doing this. After the interview, we got the chance to walk around Center Market with Mr. Strong. We learned that Center Market was the starting hub for all of commerce in the downtown area. You know, so, so, so this entire development happened essentially with the seed of this. According to Mr. Strong, there weren't just one, but three separate locations, each with their own market house. Just before you turn to either go to the, the suspension bridge or, 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 or go up over the, the, uh, the overpass, there's, on the left hand side, there's a big open area with large trees. That was the upper market. Okay. Okay, and then evidently further down this way was the lower market. This is the only one left. This is also one of the few of these markets left in the United States. Wow. And, you know, we're, we're, we're sitting here in Wheeling and most people don't really understand all the, all the uh, history that goes on. Wheeling's, Wheeling has had bad times with the rest of the United States. It's had bad times, but there's, there's been enough of, of a buffer so that we haven't had to tear everything down. The other reason this is still here, who the heck's gonna tear this thing down? It's too big. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Center Market's a great place. It, it really is, it's, it's gonna be revised. Uh, if you come down here in 10 or 15 years, the buildings will look the same, mm -hmm. but the ones that you see for, for lease will all be filled. And so everybody that's down here is gonna add more. It's gonna work really well with all the artists in, in the area. Um, we had one of the local artists in just today to have some ice cream. Uh, artists love ice cream, by the way. <laughs> The structure has stood the test of time, withstanding weather and floods alike. This is not a layer of brick thick either. Yeah. These are monumental in the true sense of the word. Uh -huh. Where can they find you online? Where can they find um, your you? You can go podcast? to uh, smartcentermarket.com. That's uh, that's our, our website, and and center is C E N T R E because that's mm -hmm. the spelling here. Uh, I want to be where there's real humanity. This is where it is.